లోకానాకూయ సర్వాని డమరుగని నదయి ఘోర సంసార మగ్నాని దీతి క్షమన్ గుడి రాధాకృష్ణ అయ్యర్ శ్రీనివాస్ అయ్యర్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద గ్రేటెస్ట్ లివింగ్ ఎక్స్పోనెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ కర్నాటిక్ మ్యూజిక్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ సెంచరీ టు అస్ లైక్ ద మిలియన్స్ హూ హ్యావ్ ఎంజాయిడ్ హిస్ మ్యూజిక్ ఫర్ నియర్లీ అ సెంచరీ హీ ఇస్ అండ్ విల్ ఆల్వేస్ బీ క్షమన్ గుడి I was born on July 25th, 1908, at Samangudi, a sleepy little village tucked in the heart of Tamil Nadu in a middle-class family in which music was a tradition. Till about the age of eight, I was in Shambhangudi village itself. Since there were severe financial constraints, it was very difficult to attend school elsewhere. Anyway, I attended the school in Shambhangudi till the fifth standard. There used to be no books or slates during that period. We had to write on sand. Later, I went to a school run by a Jain teacher, Vasudeva Naina. In those days, it wasn't important to have attendance. Only during the inspection time, there would be a burst of activity and children would be rounded up from villages to complete the quota. Although there was not much scope for studies, The burning desire to study was always there, deep inside me. From The musical education started with the initiation into chanting Vedic hymns. Having mastered the nuances of this art, my graduation to Carnatic music followed. My first tutor was my paternal uncle, Semangudi Narayana Swami Ayya, a reputed violinist, and Thirikudi Kaval Krishna Ayya, and I must have been about eight years at that time. My studies with them continued for some time in the village. and then my guru decided to shift base to kumbakonam since they had to commute 10 miles in a bullock cart from the village to places of concert the decision to shift was taken suddenly i was in despair for i did not have the resources to stay and study at kumbakonam during this time an eminent gotuvadim vidwan sakaram rao came for a gotuvadim concert Gotu Adhyam was also known as Mahanada Kavina and now it is known as Chitra Vena. He had a great deal of respect and admiration for my uncle and he took a liking to me and told my uncle to leave me under his tutelage and promised to make all arrangements for my stay and studies. He used to take classes so admirably. There were just about five students. They were called Narayana Yanga. The Veena player used to be one of us. The classes were conducted in the Guru Shishya tradition 
<laughs> I remember there used to be competition amongst us to get a chance to look after our Guru's health. I gave my first concert in 1927 in the precincts of Lord Nageshwara Swami Temple. It came about unexpectedly. There was a concert at Kumbhakonam by Maharaja Puram Vishwanathaya. I was there, also my uncle, Shambhangudi Narayanaya. When the concert was over, Maharaja Puram Vishwanathaya told us that it was his birthday and as an offering to the Lord, he requested my uncle to let me sing there. I was so happy and I ran with my sudhi box. The Upanayanam ceremony of Vilay Raja Martha Varma of Travancore in 1939. There was my concert with Papa Venkatra Mayer on violin and Palakkad Mani Ayer on Murdangam. After the concert, Muttaya Bhagavada told me that the Maharaja and his mother wanted to meet me. I was appointed Astana Vidwan of the Royal Court of Travancore. The Maharaja also told me about Swati Tirunal compositions and wanted me to set them to music. This I did using rare but moving ragas. This resulted in the publication of two books, Sri Swati Tirunal compositions and Jadeva's Gita Govindam with notations. <laughs> Shemman Guri was appointed professor at the Swati Tirnal Music Academy at Tiruvananthapuram.
He is the great guru I have ever had in my life. I have got the opportunity to study under him as guru and shishya, as in Gurugula Vasam, an ancient style of study. As far as his contributions are concerned, he is a propagandist of the compositions of Maharaja Swati Tirunath. Maharaja Gutaarichinapravunne Maharani. Ingi Tirunath Orthlovandhi Swati Tirunath Kritna Galayla Prakasha Parthano Adikki Nii Yavandhi Irukkudunni Shonnar. A life of over six decades dedicated to music could not remain unrecognized. Recognition and honors came to him in plenty. The Sangeetha Nadika Fellowship, the Rashtrapati Award, the Padma Bhushan, the Padma Vibhushan, the Kalidas Samman of Rs. 1 lakh given by the then Prime Minister of India, Indira Gandhi, and recently, the Swara Laya Puraskar title from President Shankar Dayal Sharma. To youngsters like me, listening to his concert is like a treat. His music has the vigor of youth. It, ha it is rich in raga form, bhava, rhythm, and uh, it abounds in variety of composition. He, he has blended Carnatic music in its pristine purity and he is um, definitely to me the great among the greatest of musicians in the country. <laughs> In personal life, he was blessed with an adoring wife whose love and care helped his pursuit of music. They had five children, three boys and two girls. For Shamanguri, life was full of rhythm and it was this sense of rhythm that inspired his music. Music was the ultimate in life, an expression of self-realization, an unshakable faith in God. <laughs> Today, at the age of 89, he leads a contented life in the company of his sons, daughters and grandchildren. Yeah. 
It was he who notated almost all the compositions of uh, Swati Tirunal Maharaja. And as the principal of the Swati Tirunal Academy in Trivandrum, he taught his disciples these Kritis, how to sing it. And then he established a new system of their presentation, a fairly nice manner. And uh, thanks to him, this capital city of Kerala became a center of pilgrimage for musicians from various places of India. <laughs> Nine decades as a karma yogi, a lifetime surrendered at the altar of divine music. Music as sheer ecstasy and as a sublime medium to reach out to the Supreme Being. Shaman Guri's gift will continue to enthrall us in the years to come. His music is truly immortal. <laughs> Bhakti Parna Devan Pamar Allavo Yark Sukam Aachi Avanirind Park Shumai Aachi Napane Raghava Ramachandra Raghuvira Padmanabha Rua Europa, Shampo Mahadeva, Devi Parveshwari, Mahaganapate, Ajane Swami Nenamaha, is a really in Alabadiani, a Kundu in the trade of Pane, Nim Shacha Karamuna, Shamapadamula, Naya Tera Vonatanaka, Anugurham Mundungo Pane, Tera, and Kundu, Mirpame, Lena, is a human. God has given me everything. I would never ask for more. I'm really happy and contented with my life and music. 